Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be explaining how to use the pen. Here is the marking. When you get your box out, this is what it should look like. Then you want to open it, and here you have it, the pen. Go ahead and take it out, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's got some tension. If you, for example, have, if you put it too down low, it's going to not break the paper, at least. That's cool. Then, you also want your USB cable. Right here. I'm going to take it out. And then you're going to have to kind of rip it out. If you want to use it, there it is. And you might be wondering, where do you plug this in? Well, if you've plugged in your power cord, this is where it goes. You plug in here. So you take this and you un take it off. Then you plug this side in. Then this side goes into your computer. Now, you want to install the pen. I'm going to move it back. And the pen just goes on like this, right in here. And there's... And if it doesn't go in correctly, you might want to look at this. There's a screw on the bottom, and you want to unscrew it. Then, you want to put it in. And if it doesn't go in still, you might want to unscrew it more. And that fell off. Now I'm going to put it back on. That's good. Now we've installed our tool. We'll get started with programming it. We are ready to go. First of all, you want to get your pen ready by taking off the cap first, like that. Now, I have a piece of paper here. And if you don't have a flat surface like I don't, well, you can put something flat under it. For example, I put a piece of glass under it that came with the 3D printing kit. Then, you want to power on your Dubot. And wait for it to shine green. And then you want to connect. Here, making sure it works, press home. It's going to go to the home position. That's about it. Now, let's go to write and draw. Here, you want to import something like a shape. Or if you want, some text. I'm going to put in Jeffrey App Tech. It's Jeffrey App. And I'm going to make it big, maybe like 30. Press OK. Hmm, that may be a little bit too small. I'm going to make it bigger. If you want to delete something, right click it and then press delete. Delete, right click that, press delete. Then, if you want to, make it bigger. Maybe like 50. Did delete that yet. Press OK. 
move it here. Now you want to set the auto Z. Make it pretty high, but not so high that, for example, it has to be able to write, but if it's too low, you're not going to write. You're going to probably break it. That's probably going to break the paper. That seems like a good auto Z position. Then you want to press auto Z. Then wait for it to load. That seems good. Now you want to press sync pause. That's the starting point. Now let's just try it out. Press start. See, that breaks the paper. If it breaks the paper, you want to press stop. See, we have a break in the paper right here. Hmm, let's reset the auto Z. Press auto Z. Now you want to press sync pause again, except for this time it's going to go in the broken area. So you may want to adjust it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And put in maybe like, let's try 32. Press OK. Move it in. Press Sync Pause. That seems good. Let's press Start. It's done with the Jeffrey part, now it's going to do the app part. Last letter. It's done, says Jeffrey App. I mean, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, that was the video. In the next video, I will be covering laser engraving. Anyway, I will see you then. Bye.